needs them, everyone has them. But for some, finding the perfect pair is a never-ending journey. They're called sneakerheads, collectors who own upwards of hundreds of shoes. To them, shoes aren't just something you wear on your feet. They're a way of life. I've probably seen well over a thousand pairs of shoes go through my, my room. Once I got a pair, I would have to keep getting another pair. It's always hard to choose one shoe, because you only have two feet. So you always have to choose a pair of sneakers for either the day or for the uh, occasion. For sneakerheads, adding new shoes to their collection is all in a day's work. And with so many rare shoes on the market, the easiest place to find what they're looking for is online. It became a um, kind of non never ending habit where I would look on eBay every day, uh, trying to find the best prices, and then put shoes back up on eBay at a higher price just so I can make some more money to kind of feed my addiction. And then any money I made from that, I would just keep buying and buying shoes and selling and selling shoes. If we just assumed each pair here is at least $400, which most of them probably are at least $400 within just the shelf. Thirteen times four, fifty-two. So this is probably five thousand two hundred here alone. And then that doesn't include everything in my closet, outside, and in the other storage room over there. Even with collections in the hundreds, most never stop collecting and many will go to great lengths to get their next pair. Livestock in Toronto is a top destination for sneakerheads. Mobs, I guess you could say, would break out. You could have uh, day-long campouts, five-day campouts outside. Uh, probably spent eight hours lined up. It's not that long compared to like some people, but eight hours lined up. I camped out overnight in the freezing cold. Um, with a couple of buddies. We went 10 in the morning the day before the release. So we stayed there all day and then we slept in the car in the freezing cold that night. And then the next morning we only got one pair between all four of us. But yeah, that's probably the craziest thing I've done for a pair of shoes. In the United States, some shoe releases have taken a violent turn. In the past, riots have broken out and people have even been killed. With so much demand for sneakers, many have begun to create knockoffs. Counterfeit shoes, anything that's high in demand is going to be fake, so if you can make money off it, then you're going to counterfeit it. One thing I felt that really ruined shoes was the counterfeit business. And you can always tell the quality of a fake. When you put it on, it's not comfortable, it'll break on you a lot quicker, so it, it definitely ruins the culture. For some sneakerheads, having a fake in your collection is unavoidable. Counterfeits are a definite no-no in the sneakerhead game. Um, I myself, unfortunately, do have a pair. They were a gift. Um, you can always tell a counterfeit. Um, you can tell not by the look. Um, unfortunately, the companies are good at uh, getting a hold of, of Nike, Adidas, Reebok molds and kind of replicating them, but uh, it's the quality of the shoe, so they fall apart, and uh, the performance of the actual shoe uh, really differs from, from the real thing. Can you spot the fake? It's the shoe on the left. To me personally, it's more about uh, quality than quantity. Um, I think if you're a true sneakerhead, there's certain ones that you're always going to love. And it's not about collecting uh, every shoe that kind of comes out. It's about collecting the ones that kind of mean something to you. Thinking of becoming a sneakerhead? You'll have to learn the lingo first. The Air Easy One, Soul Collector, Your Zero Account, Good Foot, Galaxy Foam Posits. Stolen Riches. Uh, I'd probably say Thunder 4s, Bread 4s, and Bread 11s. Sneakers have become so popular that the academic world is catching on. Schools like Carnegie Mellon in Pittsburgh are offering courses like Sneakerology 101 so students can get a foot in the door. For Toronto Today, I'm Becky Milton.